This is a solution for 19a of chapter 1. For the following set of scores, we're asked to find the value of each expression. 19a states that we are asked to find the value of sigma x squared. According to the order of operation, we would attend to the exponent first. So here, right next to our distribution, I'll extend this and create a new column of our x squared values. So all we need to do is square each of our x values. So 3 squared is 9, 2 squared, 4, 5 squared, 25, 1 squared, 1, and 3 squared is 9. So to respond to this expression, we would simply take the summation of all scores that have been squared, and we're going to add this up. So we have 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 25 is 35, plus 4 more is 39, plus 9 more would be 48. The expression for 19b says, in parentheses, sum of x or sigma x, and then we have a squared value outside of the parentheses. So again, order of operation says that we attend to what in the parentheses or grouping symbols first. So this is simply telling us take the sum of all our x values. So we take the summation here, so the sum of x simply requires that we add up these values. We'll start from the top this time. 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 5 is 10, plus 1, 11, plus 3 more gives us a value of 14. So now that we have the value of sum of x, we would write 14, and then we're going to square that because the expression, right, is this the sum of x squared. So now we've taken the sum of x, which is equal to 14, and in your calculators, just square 14, and if we square 14, you should get 196. The expression for 19c says sigma, and then in parentheses, x minus 1. So we're going to take the summation of each x value, and we're going to subtract 1. So here I'm going to create a column where I show the expression of x minus 1. So my first x is 3. So 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. I'm going to write it all out, although it's probably not necessary for you to do so. And then we have an x value of 2. Again, I'm just replacing variables. x in this case is equal to 2, so 2 minus 1 is equal to 1, 5 minus 1 is equal to 4, 1 minus 1 is equal to 0, 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. And so the expression says now take the summation of all those x values in which we subtracted 1. So sigma x minus 1 is simply the summation of these values here. So we start at the top, so 2 plus 1 is 3, and 3 plus 7, excuse me, 4 is 7, plus 2 more would equal 9. And finally, 19d. The expression is the sum of x minus 1 squared. So we're going to take the summation of all of the x values that we subtracted 1 from and then square those values. So I've left the work for the previous problem for 19c because we've already done that work of um, one x minus 1 which appears here in the parentheses. So now the new element of this expression is the square outside of the parentheses. So here I'm just going to create this last column that says x minus 1 squared. So we've calculated x minus 1 and now we're just going to square those values so that would mean 2 squared is equal to 4, 1 squared is equal to 1, 4 squared is 16, 0 squared is 0, and 2 squared is equal to 4. So now to answer this problem, the sum of x minus 1 squared is simply the summation of these values here. 
I'm going to start from the bottom just because I liked group in 10. So we have 4 plus 16, that's 20. 21, and then 4 more is 25. 